Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're here at Anderson Raceway for round two of the local series. Last night after we loaded up the trailer, uh, Miguel thought it was a great idea to take off for the night. I'm glad we did, because go look at that tire. Yeah, we uh, we had a little incident on the highway last night. At, well, About 3.30 in the morning, we lost another fender and blew a tire. Hold on, Miguel. Because I know you're watching it because I know he got on to you like blah less gym more maintenance that was a new tire <laughs> <laughs> brand new tire that I decided tire. I, felt, I felt a vibration I was like so I slowed down way down next thing it goes boom I was like oh <laughs> crap I should have just gunned it see how fast we can make the trailer really jump but now we're getting ready here we're getting set up on the motors Thanks. getting ready to fire up have a good day thanks for watching guys uh hopefully for some good racing and remember when in doubt just send it out so for first practice that throttle cable was still an issue and i think miguel pushed me because i felt a bump in the back and he pushes me again yeah so this is extremely rare sighting miguel is actually passing me but he is like 50 pounds lighter so it's understandable uh, throttle was stuck wide open i should just wreck them so i can give him payback for sending me out there to uh to die but <laughs> other than that first practice went pretty good i uh, really like the layout uh, i enjoy the uh, full track with the the two loops in it i think it's my first time running it as well i usually just do one loop or the other i think it's one of the first times i do like the whole track and uh, i really enjoyed this layout it's fun it's long um you go into turn three take that right hander uh this is a nice little passing zone coming up i think it's called turn six uh miguel did a couple passes in here you can go really deep on the inside make it stick and then uh right here you really follow people around um there's fernando broken down he just went off the track decided to cut the grass and then right here there's another passing zone we all know about uh, you can make it clean uh, through here and it's just a good rump sort of thing. Uh, we have decent speed starting out But not everybody had a transponder on so p4 not too bad. Miguel was p1 uh, Crazy I know first practice in the book uh, Definitely had issues Definitely issues. <laughs> Someone went off track and dirt riding that's called the That's called the brain fights. He was uh, cutting the grass my seat was dragging and Miguel's amazing adjustment of the throttle cable got stuck wide open the whole time. I'm trying to help him. No, man. Oh, you don't lift. No, it's because he changed the stupid throttle cable. Don't lift. Do you have another one? I don't have another one. Ask somebody else. I have another one, but it's the same length. Oh, my gosh. So. We're just trying to move the pedal. No, we're not moving the pedal. No, I can't. Can I'm too that. close to the front. Okay. Oh. So we're going to figure out the throttle cable. Uh, we're slow at the moment. Uh, so you have to run the 180 millimeter rear rim. Someone told me already about that. Thanks. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of little things and tickering. That's it. And then we have what we have. But uh, definitely the leader has way more than us. So we gotta find something. No adjustments though. I'm not gonna be changing a whole bunch of stuff up. Just getting within regulations and comfortable. So we go out here for second practice. There again, Miguel in front of me. I know I was going to send it in on the inside. Uh, he went out and bought a new throttle cable because I was not happy with how the cart was uh, was working. Uh, I always say uh, you don't have to use much of the brake, but you have to do let off the gas. And uh, this track, you got to use brake, of course. But um, cart was doing better. Uh, still no changes at this point. Maybe I think maybe I widened the front end or maybe I didn't at this point. Uh, I did very minute changes. I didn't change the axle or the rear width. I was just messing with the front end. Trying to get more front end bite. Uh, here I had a good battle with 416 in front of us is Roy. Um, I'm going to send it in here on the inside. Like I was saying, it's a pretty good passing zone. And I misjudged the braking area. Uh, Roy came down. I didn't even uh, think about it and then got on the brakes really hard. Probably screw up the 416's lap pretty good. Uh, Roy got away from me for a second. I was definitely able to chase him back down here and I have a good run with him for sure. It's always fun running with these guys here at Anderson. Rory is uh, extremely fast here at Anderson, so uh, racing him back down is always uh, a good confidence booster. 
uh, this is his home track he's always quick here he has been quick lately so uh, catching him and passing him was a good confidence booster but when I got off the track and looked at the lap times the confidence booster went down uh, he let me go uh, not not much of a battle it is practice uh, we are smart we don't want to duke it out too early so uh, good on him uh, good run uh, still end up p5 with a really good lap time uh, moving forward for sure second practice session out of the way Miguel went p1 Gabe went p1 and heavy tight field real close it's gonna be a good run we're here chilling bsing watch some formula one i'm gonna widen my front end because i'm not getting in any good front grip so we'll see you don't want to know <laughs> fernando wants to know where he's at but i better not know <laughs> it's better if he doesn't know all right guys qualifying up next so the goal for qualifying was uh you know let them go out in front now uh, you know take it easy on the warm-up lap but when we left the pits gabe was just straight balls to a wall <laughs> i don't think he knows how to take it easy on the warm-up lap and then i make a mistake and go right off track uh, right after chat said don't run off this track so then uh i was not gonna get a draft at all and uh, they didn't slow down for me so that did not turn out to fruition so uh, i was able to get a tow from stewart this is basically uh my quickest lap uh my fastest lap got dq due to not being at pre-tech uh soon enough uh some tracks they allow you to tech before qualifying and then other tracks i'm guessing you have to tech before you even get on track so this one's one that you have to tech before you get on track um lesson learned last time i was out here i did not tech until right before qualifying i did not get penalized so uh, now I know better with the new tech. Uh, make sure you get tech before you step on track. Miguel and I, Stuart, and I believe Heath all got DQ'd in qualifying. So that's why we started in the back. But we had a good run. Uh, it would have been P4, which is would have been much needed for sure due to uh, starting in the back. And the pre-finals, that's never good. So qualifying the books. Uh, Miguel ended up P2 in this class. I ended up P4. Gabe, P7. Uh, got caught up in lap traffic. Not lap traffic, but slower. Uh, Heath and I, we need to uh, flip our tires because we are struggling for grip. P12. Fernando, P12. So, he's having fun. Uh, we all are. It's just a hot day. Hot day. Uh, Stewart's doing a gear change real quick. And I didn't know how close the times were between qualifying and pre-final, so we're just going to send it the way it is. <laughs> Alright guys, catching with you after the pre-final. Hopefully it goes well. Remember, Ron and Jeremy are sending it. Damn, they're fast. So is Rubens. Crap. So, I won't make a comment about this. Uh, you guys can judge on your own on the video. Uh, this is the pre-final and uh we get off on their way um michael gets a monstrous start uh gets on the inside of gabe actually makes it up almost on the inside of roy and then they get into it and then i get into it with gabe so you decide who was at fault in that video uh if you want me to comment i will make a little short clip and comment or just look for it on the uh, podcast for white knuckle racing other than that, that's basically uh, no issues with the cart. Nothing got bent. Uh, was just putting around out there, hoping for people to break up, break chains, wreck, so I can get some free uh, positions. Because if not, we were starting in the back. So, uh, yeah, too bad for Fernando. He was up to, like, I think P6 at one point, and then on the last lap, the chain popped and ruined his race. You know, that that's just bad luck. Um, no, that's racing. That stuff happens. Uh, so I was making sure, you know, I was trying to get every position I could out of it. Uh, Gabe back, got back in his car. Uh, we were just trying to make uh, as many positions as we could before the uh, finals. Of course, uh, nothing's over until it's over. We still had the finals up. Uh, had some decent speed. Still not enough to run with the leaders, but decent speed for a podium. So in the end, P9, not too bad. Well, that was a quick pre-final for us. Basically... Got into an accident right off the bat. A little skirmish. 
Miguel did good and he started last and made his way up the P2. Gabe and I definitely need to send it in the uh, finals. So. I'm normally not an angry person, you know this. But that's qualifying and pre final that the same car cost me spots. Well, we gotta do something because the leaders are much faster than us. Yeah, they're going what, 51s? 51 seconds. Yeah. Well, so we think right. we might do a gear change. Or not. Or not? I don't know. I think I am. I have nothing to lose. I'm, we're starting last again. Nothing to lose. Let's go. On to the finals. I spoke to Heath before the race, and he had told me if he, if I was behind him, he was going to let me through. Um, he said his tires were shot. Uh, Heath has, Jesus, like close to 700 laps on his tires. Uh, we didn't flip the fronts, which we needed to for sure, because in this race, I struggled with front grip really, really bad. And it's extremely noticeable in turn four or five. Uh, every right-hander was very difficult for me. And that's 90% of the track. So uh, here it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as the next turn coming up. Uh, he's going to take a look back. He's going to see me behind him. And then he's going to point me through. Uh, thanks to him, uh, I did have some speed, but not enough speed. This was the hardest turn for me. I just could not get the car to turn. Uh, Ron, Jeremy, uh, the five. 12, the other SLA driver, I don't know his name, sorry. And then uh, Rubens, they were just in a league of their own, to be honest. Um, I was able to keep the uh, the race interesting and close and tight to uh, to a certain extent, but uh, I could not just close down the gap. Um, at times, I would close down the gap, and other times, I would just pull away again. So I was trying my hardest. I was going through turn one and two, still flat-footing it. Um, I wouldn't make much uh, room here. Uh, turn three, I was trying to get the car rotated, uh, so I would stab the brake, uh, try to get the car slow down, try to get the front bite to get in. Uh, coming up here, they start battling a little bit, and you know in 206 racing, when you start battling anything, you bring up the person behind. So I would catch them in some areas of the track, and in other areas they would pull back away. Um, I was quicker definitely in the last section. Uh, I was still not... I was not rounding out my corners, so it looked like I was getting quicker, but other times it could have been just my entry and exit. Um, I knew, but I knew they had been swapping back and forth to position. So if I know they got into a tussle and I was close enough, they're going to bring me back into a fight for sure. Uh, here, this coming up lap, uh, I saw that the 512 was really on Jeremy's bumper. He was really starting to push him pretty hard. So I knew a move was going to come. And if Jeremy got past, I knew he was going to send the move right back in. There goes the first move. Uh, really clean, really good uh, racing. And then I was like, man, at this point, it, it, it could happen sooner than I expected. Uh, they line up nose to toe again. Uh, Jeremy shows the nose a couple times. Uh, he was looking to get by quick. So right here, it was just thinking about how close to get. Um, hoping for a miracle, maybe they got tangled up. Uh, the 512 does pull a little, a little bit away, uh, but then Jeremy's able to track him back down and get right back into his draft. So it was a fight back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, this coming up lap, I think at this point there's only like three laps to go. Uh, it's starting to ramp up the intensity. I'm ducking, I'm pushing as hard as I can. <laughs> I can't get out of the win anymore. Uh, and then I started to see I was actually really closing the gap. I was, you know, getting the turns in. I was like, man, I have some speed. I can I can actually do it. And right here, I'm like, I think he might go for the move. And if he does, I'm going to be right there. Bam. Went for the move. Stalled them both. I was in the mix. I was in the fight. Uh, right here, the 512 puts his nose in. He just didn't have enough space and enough time. Uh, Jeremy never saw him. Chopped his nose down. You know, that's a racing incident. I was gifted the position. I'll take it. I was not the fastest car for sure. Um, congratulations to Ron and Rubens. Uh, good job to Miguel uh, for the uh, light class. Excellent job for Gabe. Man, this, he showed tons and tons of speed. He ended up P4. Uh, bad luck for him at the beginning of the race. He ended up in another accident. But excellent drive. Tons of speed showing amazing speed like he was the fastest tb on track today so enough to run with the leaders uh just not enough good luck to uh stay out of trouble for sure uh thank you tb cart usa uh thank you victor peters for building a great engine thanks for everybody for the support 
Uh, can't wait to see you guys back on track soon enough. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. P3 in the end, super excited, super happy. So, day coming to an end. The girls finally oh! made it. Shifter just sent it into the barriers. We are uh, here closing it out. Miguel had a good run. We all know where he ended up in the end. Uh, yeah. We don't know where none of us ended up. Yeah, hot headed there, but I tried to hold it. Ran out of tires. And then Anderson with nice enough to let me come back. But on probation. Miguel's been a bad boy. Yeah, I had a good had a good run, but I just ran Martin. out of. I don't like being called Mark Martin. So I ran out of ran out of yeah. talent. <laughs> ran out of tires. Uh, Gabe was super fast this week, and I don't know what he had. Sleep. He's that probably we did not have last you night. Know, he's yeah, you're right. Sleep. We're running on one hour of sleep, guys. All right. Yeah, we got that rest there at four thirty. So. I somehow pulled out three P3. Uh, I don't know how I did it. Uh, really, I didn't have the speed for it, but the two in front of me got into it. So I'll take it. You know, podium's a podium. I would like to fight for the win, but Ron and Rubens was way too far out. And I didn't have the speed for them. Gabe had bad luck, but he still pulled through. They'll pile up in the pre finals. Every TV and heavy was collected. Yeah, every TV in one pile up. Oh, I was like, what is that? It's literally a recycling bin of TVs. If anybody needs some parts, you're going to have plenty of them. But it was like nobody else was involved. It was all TVs. Yeah. yeah. It was Heat, you, Dave. Started by Tony. Stuart. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Cosby. Old, old, old Cosby. Same thing, same thing. OTK. So. Guys, hope you guys like, subscribe, share. Thank you, Anderson Raceway Park, for putting on this event. Uh, thank you, Nicole, for letting me out, come out here and uh, play around. You know, I keep him chained. That, that's that's that's, <laughs> that's the wife. I am married, by the way. Yeah, she is real. Shelby, Miguel's girlfriend, for letting him play. So, whoa, whoa. definitely. Oh, future fiance. Future, future sister-in-law. So, yeah, guy who falls down guys, stairs. like, subscribe, share. Thanks for everything. Kyra. Everybody came out. Remember, send it. So right now, Jorge's about to go piss off Ron. Uh, somebody put a protest on him for no reason. Uh, we don't know It who, wasn't me. But we're going to go so, fuck with Ron. So yeah, let's go see. I got to keep the <laughs> They let you go? Did you go in yeah. 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 Fuck, man, my protest didn't go through. I know. They said somebody protested. Shit. Me. I tried hard. Ron, get that hook over there, buddy. Hey, why didn't you try harder? I tried get mad. hard. <laughs> so, I guess we don't know who did it, huh? Shit. Huh? We don't Should know who it was? No, I'm going to get back. I'm going to buy an older It makes car. no sense of who it could have been because <laughs> realistically, the only person that would have benefited from that would have actually been me. I'm the only one that would have benefited from that. Somebody said that it was somebody that placed almost dead last. I was told oh, that from the I told very you. I was told that from the I very told beginning. You. I was told somebody that from the very dead beginning. Last. Well, I wasn't dead last on No shit. Okay. And then they goodbye. said freaking <laughs> You came over here mad in the hell. I know. Yeah, but we didn't finish that last. I was like, huh? yeah, so, I wasn't no. that far back. I, I was back. They were not yeah. that far back. I was watching these two fight. Hey. They said I got protested because I had this filter on here. That? Oh, this? Yeah. That was it? That was yeah, it. you double filter it. Yeah, that was like a 45 minute delay. Yeah, For a filter. Need, well, you only need this. You only uh, need this filter. Why didn't you build a true mind stuff because I don't have anything? Hey, I thought I got you for this kind of thing. Yeah. If the rubber boot should be on it, because you know, like. Just duct tape it. Yeah, that makes no on. sense. I've never even had hey, it, on it. it sucks huh? when you get fast and people want to complain about everything, huh? That's good. It's hey. a good job. Oh, this? I can check it for this, too. Let me check the blue card out because he beat me too. It's the hard work you're putting in us, baby. Where's the blue card? That fucking shit is illegal too. Look how much weight he has. Hey, that baby's I, fucking. Dude, they're not double nutted. I pitched. They're not double nutted. DQ. Six pounds. It's overweight. They're not double nutted. I'm going to drop 20 pounds. I'm, I'm going to gain some. I, no, you said, you've been saying that for years. That's not happening. Yet. Well, that's only because their scale yeah, was all fucked having, up. And I was so scared to get DQ'd, I threw extra weight on there. 
Dude. I was only 396. I picked up the car and almost and blew I my back out. I bet you did. Almost blew my back out. That thing's brutal. That means you guys could race heavy if you really wanted to. Actually, guys, I'm over here. I'm going to drop medium yeah, yeah, but you were so slow. I know. <laughs> Same gear, but you were so that, slow. So <laughs> you do all this hard work, you get all this seat time, you get fast. And everybody wants to think. Can you tell Jorge he's slow? Hmm? He's slow, ain't he? Hmm. Where'd you start at in that match? Nine. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, but I, I, yeah. you were eight tenths faster. Really? Yeah, you ran fifty one sevens. I ran fifty two fives. Holy shit! I know. Exactly. <laughs> How fast? Fifty one sevens. Yeah, the track wasn't very good. We should have been running 51 flat. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, the track was good. We should have been running 50. I've run 51 flat every practice I've ever done out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The track wasn't. This was the first time ever that I haven't ran 50 flats. It's, it had a lot of grip. Yeah. 50. Yeah. Yeah. On race day, it always grips up, but practice, I'm always oh, running 50 flats. Wow. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. 51. What's going on? Just the target break. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Oh yeah. 